Welcome to episode 48 of the Perrysburg Podcast. I'm your host and Perrysburg resident, Kim Newlove. The Perrysburg Podcast is an informational podcast for prospective new and current Perrysburg, Ohio residents. We talk about what's in Perrysburg and why people like to live here. You can find the show notes on perrysburgpodcast.com. Today's episode is about Perrysburg's municipal pool. Some people just call it the Perrysburg pool or the pool or the outdoor pool, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be calling it the municipal pool today. Most of the information in this episode can be found on the municipal pool page of the City of Perrysburg's website. I created this episode with new and prospective Perrysburg residents in mind, the new residents and the prospective residents. You see, back in 2006, I was living in Toledo with my family, my husband and my two boys, and we were shopping for a house in Perrysburg. I was a prospective Perrysburg resident, and I didn't know much about the pool. I stumbled upon it one day when we were going for a ride with our realtor, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to come back here someday and check this out. If you don't have the same luxury of doing a ride along with a realtor, I, I guess I'll give you an audio tour of the pool. I visited the municipal pool for the very first time in 2006, and then I moved here in 2007. With the audience for this episode in mind, let's get started. The municipal pool is located at 915 Elm Street in Perrysburg. It's open from 1 p.m. till 8.30 p.m. daily. However, it will be closed on July 16th for a swim meet. I got that information right off of the City of Perrysburg's website. The municipal pool also has something called toddler time. Toddler time is for City of Perrysburg residents, and it's from 10 in the morning until 12 noon, Monday through Friday. Who is toddler time for? It's for ages 5 and under. Kids 5 and under may enter with a responsible adult. Bring your ID. It's my understanding that the staff will check. What can you expect to pay? Well, since we were just talking about toddler time, there is no cost for toddler time as far as I can tell from the website, but general admission to the pool is $12 per person per day. $12 per day. Kids five and younger are free. Cash and credit cards are accepted. No checks. Can you get a better price somehow? Yes. If you live in the city of Perrysburg, you can buy a resident ID card. It's called a resident ID card for $5 per person from the Fort Meggs YMCA. So you go to the YMCA to get your pass for the pool, the outdoor pool. Then admission, once you have the resident ID card, is only $4 per person per day for ages 6 and up. Kids 5 and under are free. Again, the resident ID card is $5 per person one time per season, and then $4 per person for ages 6 and up. Again, that's for the City of Perrysburg residents. Season passes are also an option. Season passes are available for City of Perrysburg residents and Perrysburg School District residents. That's how the Perrysburg Township residents, for example, can buy a season pass. Rates are on the city's website. I will not be going through all of them, but to give you an idea about the rates, I'll tell you what my family did. My family lives in the City of Perrysburg. We have four people in our family. We paid a total of $130 for our pool passes for this summer. That's $85 for the first person and $15 for each additional person. My husband and I have two adult sons, so again, we have four people, so our total was $130. Next up, let's talk about the features of the pool. As soon as you walk up to the entrance, you'll see a reception desk, a drinking fountain, and bathrooms. The bathrooms have showers and a changing area inside. The staff will scan your season pass or collect your payment as you enter. Again, it's cash or credit card. Once you're inside, you're going to see the swimming pool, of course. It's a large swimming pool. It's fenced in. You'll see lifeguards, water toys, a large water slide, and two diving boards. The municipal pool has a high dive and a low dive. There is a zero-depth entry section for younger swimmers, and there are ropes that divide the shallow end from the main part of the pool, and then the main part of the pool from the deep end where the diving boards are, and the main part from the area with the water slide. 
Let's talk about the bracelets. When my kids were younger, they had to do a swim test every year at the very beginning of the year and then wear a bracelet so that the lifeguards knew that they were safe to be in the main part of the pool or go off of the diving boards or go go down the water slide. If you visit the municipal pool, ask the staff about swim tests. Now, surrounding the pool, you'll see dozens of adjustable lounge chairs, so there's plenty of seating for the grown-ups. There's also some shade structures, some benches, and, of course, lifeguard chairs. There's a 10-minute break every hour to give the younger swimmers a break. Then the adults get to rule the pool for adult swim while the kiddos rest. I always enjoyed that part. The two most popular spots during the break for the kids are the concession stand and the bathroom. The concession stand has snacks for purchase. Bring cash. They do not accept credit cards. Once you get your snacks, you can head to the seating area that is nearby. There are some rules about where you're allowed to eat and drink there at the pool. I think they want you to eat or drink on the grassy areas or near the concession stand. What if you don't want to buy food? Well, when my kids were little, I used to bring a cooler with the drinks and the snacks, usually like water bottles or Capri Suns, fruit snacks, pretzels, you know, snacks that kids like. And I would bring snacks instead of buying snacks at the concession stand. Now, towards the end of summer, I would let them splurge and go buy an ice cream sandwich or nachos or soda or whatever. But to this day, you can still bring your own snacks and drinks. So keep that in mind. Just watch for the signage about where you can eat. Again, I think there is a rule. You either have to eat on the grass or in the concession area. Next up is something that's not really a feature of the pool, but it's on the pool property, so I'm going to tell you about it. There is a grassy field on the pool property in the fenced-in area near the slide, and kids love to hang out there and run races during the break. So look over by the slide. There's a grassy area over there, and kids will be running races. It's fun to watch. I can't run barefoot through the grass like that anymore, but I enjoy watching the kids do it. Two more things, and then we'll wrap this up. First, the Perrysburg Municipal Pool has an unofficial Facebook page. So if you want to see pictures of the pool, you can find them on the Facebook page. You might even see me in a couple of them. And second... You can rent the municipal pool for a pool party. Let's say your baseball or softball team finishes their season and you want to have a last hurrah or a graduation party or whatever you want to do. You can rent the pool for a pool party. Pool parties are from 9 to 11 p.m. I know it's kind of late, but that's what they've got. Pricing and details are on the City of Perrysburg's website on the municipal pool page, but here's an example. If you have 50 people, the cost is $135, $135 for a city resident. Cost depends on the number of people and whether you're a city resident or a school district resident. Scheduling is done by the Fort Meigs YMCA. That's about it. We talked about the location, the hours of operation, the cost, the features, the City of Perrysburg's municipal pool page, the Facebook page, the unofficial Facebook page, and pool parties. If you are a prospective new or current Perrysburg, Ohio resident, I hope you enjoyed hearing about the municipal pool today. To read the show notes for this episode, head over to perrysburgpodcast.com and click on episode 48. In the show notes, you'll find links to the municipal pool through the city of Perrysburg's website, the unofficial Facebook page for the Perrysburg municipal pool, and the Fort Meigs YMCA's website. If you would like to be notified by email each time a new episode of the Perrysburg Podcast comes out, sign up for the newsletter on perrysburgpodcast.com. Thanks for listening today. I will talk to you next week.